Hey, welcome to the Farmville Technician course. This is week four. So I hope you enjoy this course so far. And this is the first video that is available to those who've actually signed up for the class. This is special. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, so the things that we're going to, things to know this week is the 18 drugs that are found in the, the manual for week four. AWP, which stands for Average Wholesale Price. This talks about, this talks about discounts and retail math. Kind of simple. So if you like shopping or, you know, you're a coupon cutter, and you like deals and stuff, this will be really easy because it's basically the same same idea. The next we're going to talk about the ventilation system, crash carts, and some SIG codes. Alright, so we're going to kind of mix this up a little bit. Previously I like to do the information first, um, but this this video this week I want to do the math first get the math out of the way and then we can start talking about the information so the first one is if the selling price of a prescription medication is the average wholesale price less 20 percent plus the dispensing fee of five dollars and 25 cents what is the final cost for a prescription with an average wholesale price of sixty dollars so in the course I've been doing line equals line this is going to be our known, our known, and this is going to be our unknown. Okay, so our known is $60. And don't forget your units. I want to say your units are very important. They're going to help you keep track. But 60% or $60 is 100% of the bill. Okay, so the the bill or the cost of the medication before any discounts is 100%. But now we want to know what 20% is. What the 20% is. So if we go ahead and plug in, let's change that color. Let's say we go ahead and plug in that 20%. When we cross multiply and divide, that's going to give us twelve dollars so when we do it this way twenty percent of sixty is twelve dollars and so we're going to subtract the two because it's, it's a discount it's twenty percent less so if it's less you're going to subtract it so sixty minus the twelve that's going to give you forty eight dollars after the after the the discount however you are still going to have the dispensing fee and the dispensing fee is going to be that $5.25. So if you add that, then you're going to have $53.25. And that will be your answer for this one. So the next one. If the pharmacy prices medication by taking the average wholesale price plus $3.75, and the average wholesale price for a new statin is $49 for 75 tablets. What is the charge to the customer for 50 tablets? Okay, so with the dispensing fee, the dispensing fee is never, is never discounted. So we always leave that at $375. But the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find out how much 50 tablets cost. So if we set up the line equals line, and then we have our known. Oops. We have our known. And we have our unknown. Our known is going to be $49 for 75 tablets. We want to know how much for 50 tablets. When we cross multiply and divide, That's going to give us $32.67. But we take this amount 
and we add the dispensing fee. So $3.75, that's going to give us $36.42. All right, so I hope this is making sense. If you want, you can go ahead and stop the video here and try it on yourself, and then go ahead and watch the video to continue to help. So, this one is the cost of 200 tablets for a specific drug is $43.20. What would be the price after a 20% markup? If the patient was receiving 50 tablets of the same medication, what, it, what would it be after a 20% markup? They're both 20% markups. That doesn't make any sense. We'll go ahead and say 20%, we'll say 15% discount. We'll change that to 15% discount just so you can have more practice. All right, so we have line equals line, and we have 200 tablets equals $43.20. Oh wait, that was right, wasn't it? It's just a different amount of tablets. Okay, we'll go ahead and leave it at that. I'm sorry for the confusion. So, we already have that, so I set this up wrong, I apologize. So $43.20 is 100% of the medication. We want to know what it is after 20% markup. So if we cross multiply and divide, that's going to get $8.64. But unlike the old ones, because this is a mark up, we actually add the two together. So $43.20 plus $8.64, that's going to give us $51.84, just for the medication alone. Is there a dispensing fee? No, there is not. Okay, so there is that answer to the first part of the problem. Now for the second part, it's going to be a little more challenging because what we want to do now is we want to find out the cost of each tablet. Okay, so if 200 tablets equals $43.20, We want to know how many or how much 50 tablets cost. So if we do $43.20 times the 50 tablets divided by the 200 tablets, that's going to give us $10.80. Okay. So that's how much 50 tablets cost. Let's go ahead and separate these two so you kind of don't get confused. All right, so we have $10.80 is the new total cost so that's going to be the new 100% and with a 20% markup when we cross multiply and divide That's going to be two dollars and sixteen cents. So we add those two together, and we have twelve dollars and ninety-six cents. And that is our answer for that one. So those are two answers. All right. Go ahead and try these on your own again. Go ahead and put on pause. All right, welcome back. So if a patient brings a script in for 100 tablets costing $150, what would be the price if it was discounted 25%? So because we see discounted, we know it's going to be minus. So if $150 
is the total amount would be 100%, line equals line, 25%, it's going to be 150 times the 25 divided by the 100. That's going to give $37.50. That's the discount. So we're going to subtract the two, and that's going to give us $112.50. And that is the answer for that one. Oops. All right. If the same patient wishes to fill a script for a 60 day supply, reading, one tablet, QID, and the cost of the medication is $7.25 per 45 tablets, what would be the price with a 15% markup? Ooh, this is a tough one, because it's asking you to do a lot of things. So QID equals what? What, is, what does QID translate to? Four times a day. Okay, so if they're a 60 day supply, four times a day, that means they're gonna need 360 tablets for those 60 days. And the way that I got that is if one day they're using four times, four tablets, and 60 days, that's going to equal 300. Ooh, see? See what I did? I did it. I did the math and I caught myself. That's why you shouldn't ever do it in your head. So, four times 60 divided by the one, that's going to give you 200 and 40 tablets. Well, that is a perfect example of why you don't do things in your head. So, if 45 tablets cost $7.25, how much does 240 tablets cost? Well, same way, 7.25 times the 240 divided by the 45, 240 tablets cost $38.67. All right, so we'll just put these over here, get them out of the way for a second. We'll go ahead and separate them out. All right, so now we have $38.67 and 67 cents is 100%. And this is a markup, so what are we gonna do with markups? We're gonna add. Okay, so a 15% markup. When we cross multiply and divide, that's gonna give us $5.80. We add those two together. The total is gonna be $44.47. All right, so I hope that makes sense, and we'll continue. So another one, if the average wholesale price is $50 and the new price for retail is $42, what would be the percent market for this medication? Oh, so this is different. Previously, we've been given the percentages. Now we have to calculate what the percentage is, okay? But it's basically the exact same thing we've been doing. So if we have, if we have 50% is the total cost, is 100%. We wanna know what the percentage is if we do $42.55. So we set it up the same, so 100 times 42.55 divided by the 50, that's going to be 85.1%. Now, that's not the answer, okay? So don't, don't get confused, because that's not the markup. So what we're going to do here is we are going to subtract the two. So whenever you find the percentage, it's actually the opposite of markup. So markup normally was plus, but now it's minus. So if we minus those two, then we're going to have the percentage 
is 14.9%, which typically rounds to 15%. Okay, does that make sense? If you have any questions about the math, go ahead and please feel free to shoot me an email or message in the comments and we will, um, or I'll go ahead and respond back to you. So that was, that's all for the math today.